Outdoor cameras can be great for monitoring activity of people and wildlife around your property that might be causing problems. And Eve Outdoor Cam is a stylish brand new option for doing just that with Apple's HomeKit Secure Video Surveillance. But does that mean the Eve Outdoor Cam is the best new option for you? My name's Eric Wielander, welcome to my channel all about creating an effective Apple smart home. So let's take a step back and think about if you wanna put cameras outside your home, then there's been a few long running options of ways to do this. One common way is a smart doorbell that takes advantage of the fact that most modern homes have enough power running through a wired doorbell that you can also run a camera there. And this is a great spot for a camera as it's often right by a primary entrance to your home but running wires to any other locations can be difficult to set up and that's where battery operated cameras come in but these often require a base station inside your home nearby strong Wi-Fi networking and most importantly their batteries degrade over time this means in my experience I have to charge my Arlo camera that points at my driveway about once a month just because the volume of activity it records and the battery inside is two years old. I have some ideas to improve this battery life, uh, but that's an issue for another video. So battery cameras can become high maintenance and the doorbell is only one spot outside your home if you can put a camera there in the first place. Now, it turns out there's another common place outside most homes with electrical wiring and close to other entrances of your home, and that's light fixtures. By replacing them with floodlights that also work as cameras, you can get another outdoor camera without having to run new wires. Now, this idea isn't new. Plenty of other companies have been selling floodlight cameras for years now, but Eve's new outdoor cam is a new entry in this category that also supports Apple's HomeKit Secure Video. Now you might be wondering, well, what is HomeKit Secure Video? A lot of major tech companies in the smart home space have ways to store Store your video recordings in their cloud services. Google Nest has Nest Aware, Amazon Ring has Ring Protect, Apple has HomeKit Secure Video. The big difference here is that Apple's recordings are included with iCloud Plus storage plans you might get or have already for the rest of your Apple stuff. So if you already pay for iCloud Plus, recordings from a camera like this Eve Outdoor Cam are stored in iCloud at no additional cost to you and they don't take up any of your storage quota you have for phone backups, photos, documents, etc. Now there are a lot of other potential benefits and downsides to HomeKit Secure Video as a service, which I covered in other videos, but let's talk about this cool new camera. It's important to disclose that Eve sent me this camera so I can make this review, and Eve is a past and future sponsor on this channel. But this review is not sponsored, and it is my unbiased opinion. You'll hear in a minute, I don't hold back in telling you the areas where I don't like this camera. Now for installation, Eve has put a lot of thought into how to install this camera. They have clear instructions in the manual and a supplementary video. The one comment I'll add here is that I think installation for a floodlight camera is a lot like a smart thermostat. And by that, I mean that depending on the setup of your outdoor lights, if you don't have a well-wired modern home, you could quickly find yourself in a scenario where you would need to hire a professional to help like an electrician in order to get it installed. And like a smart thermostat, if you have proper wiring and follow the instructions, installation should only be an afternoon project by yourself. Either way, once you have it physically installed and wired up, adding the camera to HomeKit and the Home app is very easy. You simply go over to the Eve app and then go to the settings tab and add a device and then scan the HomeKit code. Now, the reason I like using the Eve app is that you might have firmware updates you'll need to install after setting up the camera. In one recent firmware update, Eve unlocked a cool new feature that we'll talk about in a minute. But for setup, the HomeKit code for this camera can be found hidden under the base of the camera mount and then also in the manual. You might have noticed this camera is larger than many other cameras. This is partially for the light, of course, but Eve also added a separate motion sensor and a solid speaker for hearing your voice if you need to talk to people in front of the camera from far away. Go away. Let's go into the details of what I'm talking about here. 
Many cameras simply use motion detected by the camera lens as a motion sensor. This is generally slower than a specialized infrared motion sensor. The EVE Outdoor Cam has built in an infrared motion sensor separate from the camera. According to EVE, the sensor picks up 100 degrees of area up to 25 feet away if the camera's mounted eight feet above the ground. This isn't as big of an area as the camera's viewing area, but it's still plenty big enough in my experience. Speaking through the mic is also nice and clear to the other user. Go away. If if you have the volume from the HomeKit camera turned up, I was hearing my voice come back through the iPhone like you can hear sometimes on a video call. I'm not really sure though if this is a problem with Eve and it's probably more an issue with the Home app and HomeKit. Now for the video quality. The camera records at 1080p HD resolution. This is unfortunately the resolution limit for HomeKit Secure Video. So there's no reason for the camera to record any larger videos. In my experience, the bigger problem with clarity in video surveillance isn't as much the resolution, but the compression of the video. There might be edge cases where you would see a license plate on a distant car with 4K and not in 1080p, but in general, I think that going with 1080p recording quality is a great way to save money for any video surveillance system when you're looking to purchase. 4K systems can often cost a premium. Regardless, EVE is pulling exceptional colors and image quality off of this sensor in my experience. Oftentimes surveillance cameras will raise the black levels of an image so that you can see more detail in the shadows. This creates a faded look, but something that's very practical. When there's sufficient light, Eve is lowering the black levels to a point that makes the footage look much prettier, like it came from your iPhone, but doesn't seem to lose much of the practical visibility from my experience. But I'm saying this with caution because I do think that in some cases, a higher black level and more faded image would be better for viewing what's in the picture. Knowing Eve and their great work with software and apps, I would love to see a setting in the app where I can adjust the exposure compensation for the image if I want. With Eve's 5.5 app version that came out on Thursday, Eve added a firmware update for the Eve Outdoor Cam with more brightness control and power for the floodlight, adding a boost mode. The boost mode really kicks up the brightness, but it can only be enabled for about 30 seconds before it backs off to 100% again. You can trigger boost mode with automations using the Eve app, for example, when the camera detects motion after sunset, but it will still only last for that short period of time. By default, the EVE Outdoor Cam will also turn on its floodlight for five seconds when motion is detected at night. This is configured in the camera settings and is not a HomeKit automation. You can, of course, choose between either option, though, for automating the light. I live in a suburban area where we unfortunately have lots of light pollution at night. So the boost mode is a nice but not essential feature for me. Unless you're looking to light a giant area with this, then I think that it's plenty bright at 100%. I still think that adding this feature is great attention to detail from Eve though. If you need more light for extended time frames, you should look at putting other outdoor lighting on a smart switch. Then you can automate those to turn on for let's say 10 minutes based on the motion detected from your Eve camera. And this leads me to a peculiar part of my setup we didn't talk about earlier. Well, I have a neutral wire in the switch box inside my home for the switch that controls my backyard lights. The box where I mounted the Eve outdoor cam doesn't actually have a neutral wire. It's on the same circuit as some other lights on my deck. So when I turn the lights off, the camera loses power and goes offline. Ideally, I could work with an electrician to fix this, but in order to give you my thoughts on the rest of the camera, I went ahead and used it where I just kept my back lights on during testing. Well, I aimed the camera away from the deck to test the night vision. This means I can't fairly test how the floodlight works with the video recording in a pitch black situation. If you have other outdoor lights at your home or nearby street lights, then your results will probably be similar to mine from this video. Beyond the wiring, I also needed to drill holes in the metal plates that were used for my old light fixture so I could mount the EVE Outdoor Cam. I didn't want to put holes in my aluminum siding of my home. 
In one sense, I think the idea to make a floodlight camera that can mount on existing light fixtures is great, but it might, as I mentioned earlier, present a lot of complications. One of the other main outdoor competitors to this, the Logitech Circle View camera, lacks a floodlight but is powered through USB-A. This has a variety of ways you could power the camera, such as low voltage wires or ethernet, and can be done yourself, but supplying enough power for the floodlight and the camera takes more consideration or existing modern wiring. But if you are to go the route of replacing your light fixtures with cameras, I would like to see Eve or another company make a light fixture that has a camera built in that looks more like a traditional light fixture instead of a video or spotlight. By nature of the design, a floodlight is more meant to provide bursts of light in a specific direction rather than even amounts of light over a broad area. If you replace an outdoor light fixture with an Eve outdoor cam, you and your family members might miss the type of lighting provided by the old light fixture. Now, this all depends on the lights you're replacing. There are non-smart lights that work more like floodlights, but even there, you're potentially replacing two light bulbs pointing in different directions with one. Some other floodlight cameras have embraced this two light bulb design. I think Eve's option looks extremely elegant and it appears to be very bright, but it's still one light pointing in one direction. Still, I think there are a lot of people who will love finally having an option like this for HomeKit Secure Video. Like lots of Eve's products, it is clearly well built and thoroughly considered down to every detail. If you are okay with any potential challenges that come with installation, I can't recommend this floodlight camera enough as a solid new HomeKit Secure Video camera. Many people write me all the time asking about HomeKit Secure Video doorbells. Right now, now, there isn't a perfect option out there in my experience, but if you have a light fixture near your front door, you can replace that with an Eve Outdoor Cam and you're getting almost all of the key features of a smart doorbell, but from a vantage point nearby. I'll link a playlist somewhere here on the screen all about better smart home security, which has all kinds of videos I've made about cameras and security systems I've looked at. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.